Hi guys. So, I am about to attempt to make a fake ice cream cone, okay? So, let me put the paint aside. I got the paint at various places, like some came from Dollar Tree, some came from Walmart, and some came from Michaels, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I have this that I got at the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys can see all this stuff. And I got one of these foam balls from the Dollar Tree. They have they come in different sizes, but this is the bigger size, the ball, okay? And what I did was I had two of them. So I took about this much off the bottom of that ball. I had to kind of eyeball it. It was just my guess, okay? Because I have another cone. There's some paint brushes I'm just going to stick over to the side. I have another cone that I kind of wrapped up, but I'll show you what I did, okay? So, I had this um, Crafters Square cardstock, okay, and it comes in these three different colors, as you can see at the bottom, and I hope you're getting to see this. Um, I might have to change the light, but so far I think it's okay. And what I did was, let me get this out of the way a little bit more. I had to kind of find the spot to roll this, okay? So I just, I left a little bit of space here at the bottom. Let me get better light, hold on. I'm really hoping that this is good lighting because this is the best I have. So what I do is I had to little, leave a little bit down below so that when I wrap it, which I'm gonna take some hot glue and this is the first time I'm trying this, guys. I wrapped it, obviously, to see where I was going to, you know, find the spot for it. All this something stuck on my glue gun. Great. But as you can see, this is the cardstock, so it's kind of hard. So I really got to hold it down there really, really good for a minute. So... Give me a minute here to do this, but see how I have that space there. So now I'm going to roll it again, and I'm just going to put some more. Oh my God, what is stuck to my hot glue gun right at the tip? Okay, um, so I'm going to put the glue right at the very, very edge, and hopefully that will hold. I'll press down on it and I'll give it a second I'll be right back just for time purposes I for the camera okay guys so now I just got to cut around so let me see if I can do that on the camera uh, let me cut around it okay but you know what I'm gonna do right I'm gonna try to get it so I'm wasting this paper I know I am but I just want to you know get down to that part okay Okay, so here it is, as you can see. Okay, and see how the cone is at the bottom? It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to take this right here that I had already cut, this thing, and I'm going to hot glue it to that. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm just going to put the hot glue right here. Just do it like that. Sorry, you can't see it right now. But then I'm just going to press it right on. And hopefully it's sticking in there. Because I might not have... I don't know. Hopefully it's going to stick. Oh, see. Hold on a minute. I just have to cut the paper down a little bit lower. Okay, I had to like take the edge off of it. So let me go ahead and put more glue on it one more time. And hopefully this time it will... Stick. I'll just hold that there for a minute, okay? And then I'm going to end up painting the top of the cone. It's going to be so cute if it comes out right. Okay, guys, so it's sticking really good, okay? So now I'm going to start painting it. So I'm going to probably put, like, pink on the top, green in the middle, blue at the bottom maybe, but I'm going to water down that green paint. And let me have that be the first thing I do. So I'm wasting paint here, but I just took some of that green and I put it in the white. I put like three spots of white. So let's see how that comes out. I'll put that on the very top of the cone. 
Let me go ahead and start that right now. It's not really the color I wanted it, but I'll come back and show you how it looks, okay? Guys, I just want to show you how it's coming out because I only have nine minutes on the video, unfortunately. But I just want to show you how it's coming out so far. Okay, and I just put the blue on. It's like almost like a multicolored, I'm going to call it sherbet. <laughs> okay, guys, but it gets better, so hang in there. I have a really cute idea for it, okay? Okay, so I have some iridescent glitter. I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. And the plan was I was going to put Mod Podge on it, but the paint is not drying on time. So let me see if I can just sprinkle it on and it will stick with the paint. And I'm not a lefty guy, so bear with me, but the lighting is better if I keep the thing in the shot this way. And I'm putting it over aluminum foil so that I can save it. I can save it on that aluminum foil. I'm just like kind of just like dropping it on there and I'll be able to save it like I was saying a hundred times. Don't mind me repeating myself. All right so guys you know it's not done yet so hold on. Okay so I wanted something to go around the bottom of the cone and they have these scrunchies at the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to slide it right up on it. And I don't even really think that I have to um, use any glue or anything. I think that's just going to stay because I tested it earlier. Let me fix it. Okay, so you see what I mean, guys? So there it is, and I'm going to hold it a different way in the camera so you can see how it looks all done up, okay? So, guys, here it is, okay? And I think that's so adorable, okay? It's not perfect, but it's an idea, and it's so easy because everything came from the Dollar Tree. Well, except for not all the paint came from the Dollar Tree, but how adorable is that thing? And then you can either, like, glue a straw to the top of it, a little short straw, or you could glue, like, a little cherry on it, or you could even glue another half of a ball and paint it different colors. Um, you could put ribbon around it, different ribbon. You don't have to use the same ribbon that I used. So how adorable is that? And you could put like a stick through the bottom of it and stick it right in a summer tree, which is what I plan on. And I'm not like exactly thrilled with the colors that I picked. So I think I'll do maybe yellow on one of those colors the next time. But you get the idea of how adorable this can be. You can use like colorful, colorful paper at the bottom, like colorful wrapping paper if you want. But it's a DIY idea that I think is adorable. So guys, thanks for coming along and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.